tonight. The charity preview of the brand new North American International Auto Show in downtown Detroit. That's right, the wait is over. Tonight <laughs> is the night we finally get to see the latest treasures to roar out of Detroit's signature industry. Long time coming, isn't it? With the world's motor city turning out in its formal finery, so importantly to raise millions of dollars for charity, but also to celebrate the tradition and let's be honest, the transition of automakers across the globe. And we are live from inside of Huntington Place for one of the biggest nights of the year. <laughs> Three and a half years in the making. And outside, <laughs> the city is buzzing too for the first time ever. We've got events being held outdoors as you take a live look at uh, Heart Plaza as things are just starting to get underway there as well. So it's an exciting night. We're thrilled you're with us. I'm Devin Skillian. And I am Rhonda Walker, and it is so exciting to be here the Auto Show Charity Preview. We have an amazing crowd yes, behind indeed. us. Woo. Lively. Actually, we're fired up. Three and a half years in the making, and even Bill Ford Jr. stopped by to hang out with us. Yep. Well, this is great, and uh, I love the fact we're doing this in September rather than January. No doubt it. about it. We've got a lot we want to talk to Bill Ford about, but let's hang on just a second so we can make a quick ride around the showroom floor. Let's start with our Kim Adams. Kim? Devin and Rhonda, you know, we've all spent the last two years in sweatpants. That has all changed tonight here in Metro Detroit as the crowd is dressed to their finest in gowns, sequin jumpsuits, tuxedos. We are so excited and representing Detroit so well. Coming up, Buick, which is where I am right now, has a concept car, an electric car, their first, and they plan to have it on the market by 2024, and it is a beautiful, the Buick Wildcat. We're going to talk more about this electric vehicle, also Buick's plans for having an all-electric lineup by the end of the decade, which is a pretty, pretty lofty goal, but I'm so excited. Usually I have to hide behind a car because we're in a blizzard. I'm on a platform now because with the weather tonight, everyone is in a great move. Let's head it over to Rod. Jim, thanks so much. We're over here in the Chevy booth, and there's a lot happening here. Got the Corvette, the electric Silverado, the electric Equinox. People were checking all of that out, and that's part of the great experience. And, you know, as much as the show has changed, we're also looking at the tradition, and this is the tradition, the C and B scene event of the year in Detroit, and there are a lot of smiling faces, happy people. Saw a couple of dinosaurs going around the crowd as well. So uh, when the kids get a chance to come see the show, that's what they'll get to see as well. We're going to be showing you more of what you can see and also hearing from the folks here at General Motors coming up. Victor Williams, good evening. Hey, thanks. Good evening, Rod. Looking good tonight. A lot of anticipation building right here in the building for tonight's event. We are at the Stellantis booth where you can see all these awesome cars. The Pacifica right over there, the Grand Cherokee, and then my personal favorite, of course, the Jeep 4xe. This is an electric vehicle. And if you look right inside, you can see it's really cool. A new modern take on an old tradition. And we'll be taking a look at even more of these cars. A lot of them electric, might I add. But in the meantime, we'll go ahead and we'll toss it over to Devin and Rock. All right, Victor. And uh, Bill Ford Jr., the chairman of Ford Motor Company, with us now. And you said it earlier, Bill, it's nice to be back, but it's really nice to be back without a coat check, <laughs> without slugging through a snowstorm. This is different, but it's really great to feel it again. I mean, it's great for a couple reasons. One is all the visitors get to see, you know, Detroit and Michigan, arguably in our best month, rather than, you know, January, which is clearly not our best month. And so and the other thing is we can do things outdoors now. Yeah. Um, you know, we had our big Mustang reveal a couple nights ago at Hart Plaza. Went over like gangbusters. It was, oh it, it was so much fun, and it was a beautiful night and we never could have done that in the old days yeah. well something that we're not used to hearing is the sound of screeching tigers we have this experience <laughs> in the Ford exhibit where you can actually get in and ride talk about why that was so important well it really shows what these these vehicles can do so you've got the Bronco going up this you know incredible incline um, and it's it's a little, it takes your breath away for a minute but it's really fun and then we have the f-150 lightning just blasting around here showing people how quick it is so you're right it's something new for us but i think people really are having fun with it 
Yeah, let's, they are. Let's, uh, let's, uh, I want to talk to you about the Mustang before we get into electrification. I remember you years ago talking about if you could have, and you can have just about any car you want, it would I'll always be so. a Mustang. You're so, uh, 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 give me your reaction to the new one. I love the new one. Um, and, you know, it, it's, uh, it sounds great. It looks great. Uh, I haven't driven the dark horse yet, but I yeah. have my order in already. <laughs> uh, do you and, know a guy? I do know somebody. <laughs> and, uh, so, yeah, it's going to be awesome. And, and you know, but I, I'm also driving like you are, uh, a Mach-E, yes. and that's a very different animal, but it's so much fun. It really is. Of course, there's this push for EVs, and more and more investment is going into making sure that the infrastructure is there. If We had a recent announcement about that, but on your end, talk us through how this is going to look maybe the next five or ten years in terms of availability and what you're anticipating in terms of the number of people driving them. Well, we're going all in on it, and we're going to have um, you know, two million EVs on the road in you know, very few, few years. But ultimately, the customer is going to decide, right? So uh, we'll have internal combustion engines, we'll have EVs, and we'll see what the customers love. Even so far, with the, the F-150 Lightning and the Mach-E, I wish we could make more of them, like yeah. a lot more of them. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, is there a waiting list still? Yes, there is. <laughs> there is. But a lot of people are, are criticizing both the automakers and the government for pushing this too fast, that people aren't ready, the infrastructure's not ready, and people's lives mentally aren't quite there yet. Some people, but I think once they get used to it and, you know, and see more of them on the road and realize that, you know, the range anxiety, it doesn't have to be there. Um, but I get it. I mean, I, I had all those same issues, and it's just going to get better and better every year. We can't let you go without talking about the charitable aspect of tonight. Of course, Ford invests hundreds of millions of dollars across the world, but Detroit, your investment is huge. Well, this is our hometown. I mean, so that's why we're doing the train station and all of Corktown. And, you know, my wife and I, Lisa, are hosting the, uh, uh, a party tonight after this for the uh, Children's Center. And, yeah, I mean, that's what's so great is everybody's out here supporting Detroit. Detroit charities, yes. and you know we have a we have a great city, and and, and people who love this city and want to support it. Absolutely, well, we're well, so thanks excited, for all you yeah, do, and so excited about what's happening over with the train station and in Corktown. It's just going to be great. It's really thrilling. Thank Bill, you so both. good to see you. Thanks, thanks for you stopping so by. Enjoy your evening. Yep. You too. Yep. Well, we do want to keep it moving around the auto show floor and check in with Kim Adams, who is pulling back the curtain on the new vehicles behind what was unveiled at the auto show, which we already talked about yep. the Mustang and more. Yes, Buick is now entering the world of electric vehicles. Look at this. It's called the Wildcat. It is a concept vehicle, but they do hope to have it in production by 2024, 2025 at the latest. I mean, this is an awesome car. They have redesigned their logo. They also have on the top of the vehicle, Buick written across the top of the windshield. It is I mean, I don't know what else to say. It speaks for itself, but it is a pretty incredible goal that Buick wants to have all electric vehicles in their lineup by the end of the decade. So within the next seven years, they hope to have not just the Wildcat in production, they also hope to have all their vehicles be electric. Let's look at some of the other reveals we've had here at the auto show. energy here it's incredible new cars concept cars but it's the people all these people in one room enjoying one of the best nights here in Metro Detroit it just makes me so happy we're getting back to normal again in fact better than normal we are just having the best time here and outside they've got a lot of activities and temperatures are in the 70s and 80s it's incredible the move to January good idea from January, good idea. 
So right, Kim. Yeah, so right. No doubt about it. Last and week in the summer, I hope this is when we do it for the rest of it's, time. It's working out for us so far. <laughs> There's a really important reason, though, for all of this glitz and glamour and the champagne. And that, as we mentioned a few moments ago, is helping children. Absolutely. A lot of money is going to be raised. Charity preview nights like this have raised over $100 million for children's charities. It dates back all the way to 1976. We're talking about charities right here in our community and children that will benefit. Tonight, that money is being raised for the Boys and Girls Club of Southeastern Michigan, along with the Children's Center, the Children's Foundation, Detroit PAL, C.S. Mott Children's Hospital, among many others, of course. The yeah. Detroit Auto Dealers Association has a charitable fund as well. It's an extraordinary night of giving, that's for sure. One of the most talked about cars of the entire auto show is here. It's actually available for you to ride. That's coming up in a oh, minute. Oh, yes, it is. We are talking about Mustangs and some of this world's concept cars as well. You don't want to miss that. Also ahead, you are watching the Charity Preview live here on Local 4. We're broadcasting from the Ford exhibit, but we're all over the auto show floor, and we'll be right back.